Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm going to make a quick video covering some of the changes Creality made to the website. I've had a handful of people reach out on both uh, YouTube and Discord asking where the firmware links and stuff went um, just because of the way that they changed their site. So I figured I'd make a quick video kind of covering the changes that they made, uh, provide a link to where the actual firmware is, and make sure you guys know how to get that if that's the route you want to go. Also keep in mind I do have some Marlin builds that I have available on my website if you run into issues or if you're wanting to uh, go that route instead. Um, they're available for free. It's not behind a paywall or anything. Uh, so you can always try those out as well. So with that said, I think this is going to be a quick video overall, just covering the changes and uh, just providing information that you would need if you're following any of the other tutorials that I have already. All right, so before we go ahead and jump over to the computer, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow and get this video circulating. All right, guys, so this is the new Creality Cloud site. If you go to the previous Creality Downloads page, it's going to redirect you to creatycloud.com slash software firmware. And this has caused some confusion because the tutorials I have go to their old site. Uh, I will say that overall, uh, this is a much cleaner site. I do like it and uh, it is a lot quicker as well. So it's definitely a step in the right direction for Creality. Um, but more importantly, the reason for this video is I wanted to show you guys where the firmware is at. So when you get to the Creality Cloud page, you would just go over to firmware and then from here it's going to bring up all of the uh, firmware options so if we're looking at the ender 3 or ender 5 we would just go to the ender series and then go to uh, whatever printer you're looking for so in my case uh, based on a lot of the guides here i've got the ender 3 pro with the 422 board so i'll go here and download this and then that would go ahead and do the download then i would just extract it and then this would be the firmware for that so under 422 uh, you would have the different firmware options, so you'd be able to touch, etc. But that's really all there is to the firmware side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and close that back out. Uh, there are a couple other things on the site that's kind of cool. It looks like they're starting to uh, push their slicer more, which I'll do a little bit more playing around with. And then they also have their Creality Box and Creality Pi, um, which again, I'm going to uh, play around with those a little bit more as well. I was thinking about picking one of these up. I want to see the difference between this and running Octopi on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it's a, I think that'll be a fun uh, test that I'll be doing here uh, pretty soon. And then uh, they have a lot of other things here as well. They're talking about their software. And it looks like they are trying to tie back into Octoprint and Cura more. They have some open source plugins that you can download as well or it shows you how to actually install them. If you'd like to see a video covering any of this stuff in more detail, uh, just go ahead and let me know. I really just wanted to get this video out there showing you guys where the firmware is actually moved to uh, because since I started recording this the other day and uh, when I finished so over the course of like three days, I had another six people ask about it. Uh, so I figured I would just try to get ahead of it. Um, overall, it's not hard. It's Everything is here. It's just kind of moved in a different place. So if you're going to any of the links that I have referencing back to the Creality firmware, you can just go to firmware and uh, that's basically everything you need there. And also don't forget that I have uh, Marlin builds available to download as well for uh, some of the common Creality printers. Uh, they're available on my site. I'll link to it below and they're just free builds I provide for various purposes. All right, guys, so that covered the changes Creality made to the website. Uh, like I said, it was a pretty quick video. I just really wanted to get in there, show you where uh, the files and stuff that I've referenced in other videos are located, just so that you know, and really just kind of show you the new site. I mean, overall, I think the design is a lot cleaner and nicer. I do like it, uh, but it just takes a little bit of getting used to, especially when you're trying to follow a guide that shows the old layout. Uh, just kind of makes it a little bit complicated. But if you have any questions or like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.